County Today is presented by Connell Real Estate. Hire an agent, get a team. Learn more by visiting ConnellRealEstate.com. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Brown. This is Clark County Today, your quick check of the stories we're following for you at ClarkCountyToday.com. Well, Clark County's equestrian community is riding to the rescue of several barn owners facing the risk of losing their boarding businesses. Dozens of horse owners packed the county council meeting last week angry over potential fines and liens against several barn owners. After Clark County Code Enforcement officers responding to complaints issued citations and fines, the horse community, which some say contributes just shy of $100 million to the economy of Clark County each year, believe they're being pushed out in favor of development. County Manager Sean Hennessy, as well as Council Chair Eileen Quiring say they are willing to take a closer look at the codes, including one that requires barns to be soundproofed in an effort to find a solution that works, so stay tuned. The latest Surface Mining Advisory Committee meeting this week led to some growing divisions as attendees heard from Cadman Inc. officials about expansion of their Louisville mine and directed more questions to J.L. Stordahl & Sons, which operates both the Yakult and Livingston Mountain quarries. Cadman's request was met with optimism and little to no skeptics or opposition, while the Stordahl operations, which have drawn criticism from both communities for the better part of the last decade, continue to face concerns about environmental impact, trucking, and violations of their operating permit. When asked about how they have a healthy relationship with the community and Stordahl does not, Cadman officials declined to comment. Clark County Today will soon be releasing a documentary series on Yakult Mountain Quarry and the concerns that have long swirled around that operation, so stay tuned for that. The Richfield Schools Board of Directors this week voted unanimously to go back to the voters on April 28th with another bond request. This comes on the heels of a narrow defeat for a $107 million bond earlier this month. The new bond is a pared-down version at $40.5 million and would go towards a new elementary school, upgraded playgrounds, and land acquisition for a future intermediate school campus. The new plan is to roll out a series of smaller bonds over the next several years. Well, for years, Paul Valencia heard a little bit about the sandwich story and the Union Titans boys basketball team. It seems that every year the Titans would visit Disneyland on one of their road trips and someone would come home talking about the Monte Cristo sandwich and why it was so important that they taste the sandwich. Well, it all started because of Union assistant coach Todd Spike, his quest years ago to have this sandwich, a quest that nearly ruined a family vacation. The sandwich saved the day. With that said, we just had to have Todd Spike tell us his legendary tale. Be sure to check out the full video right now on the Clark County Today YouTube channel and ClarkCountyToday.com. And there's your quick check of the stories we're following at ClarkCountyToday.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see when stories are posted and be part of the conversation. You can also reach us via email, news at ClarkCountyToday.com. For all of us, I'm Chris Brown. Thanks for watching.